how you guys doing today it's, uh mr big ego s1k aka black judas it's my bike here my 2020 s1000 double r um premium package um just want to do a little walk around video for you guys i've had the uh i've actually had the bike since october of i would say last year 2021 um just been a little bit busy so i hadn't really had enough time to really make a nice little walk around video for you guys um i've added a few you know parts to the bike since i've actually got it um i bought the bike used had about you know seven thousand miles on it when i bought it got it for a nice price so jumped on it um just a little previous history you know i've started on a cbr uh what is it o2 cbr 600 uh f4i I had a 2001 R6, um, then I had a 2005 CBR 1000, then I moved on to a 2008 CBR 1000, um, sold that bike, bought a 2013 S1K, fell in love with the S1000s. Um, I really liked the, I really liked, I think it was the Gen, is it the Gen 3, the 15s and above, so I went ahead and bought um, a 2016 um i fucked the motor up on that one well excuse my language i messed the motor i messed the motor up on that one um uh, so then i bought a 2021 zx10 uh, i was really enjoying that bike as well i just really love bmw so i sold that one to a friend of mine he's done great things with it um got that bike really really nice and fast um but yeah i got my bmw here so I just wanted to make a little quick walk around video for you guys since I said I was going to make a video on this bike. Talk about some of the mods I have on it. Um, when I bought it, it was it was set up pretty well, so I haven't had to do too, too much. Um, of course, this bike is set up for roll racing. So, you know, I only have uh, one brake rotor in the front. Um, got the Brox lowering straps on the bike. As you see there... Only one brake. That one I got the rotor on the front. Um, got the Evo Tech frame sliders. Um, the GB Racing uh, case covers. You know, God forbid the bike ever fell over or anything. Um, I got aftermarket um, pegs. I forgot the. I got them off eBay. I forgot the company. Um, they're Chinese. Damn matter. They look good. So whatever. Um, so yeah. Then I. Uh, I started adding carbon fiber to the bike. So I put the carbon fiber. This is Bestem. Um, got it off eBay. It's a real carbon fiber. So I put the front carbon fiber. I'm kind of thinking about going to maybe the Gen 3 Busa carbon fiber, fiber fender. If anybody has connections on that, hit me up. Put a little, you know, put a comment in the underneath the video. Let me know. Um, put the carbon fiber um i guess tank cover i'm thinking about buying this part right here carbon fiber that probably be the last carbon fiber piece i get i may get the bottom one but i don't know rock chips we messed them all up i had the carbon fiber piece the shark fins right here but last night you know we had the big nc meet here in um charlotte that we've been planning um and them, it flew off i don't i don't know if it broke or snapped I don't know, but they're gone now, so whatever. Um, the foot pads came with carbon fiber. Of course, you got some carbon fiber on the Acropovic, uh full titanium exhaust. The hangers, carbon fiber. Um, put the carbon fiber, you know, to replace the seat here. Um, I got the carbon fiber aero disc for, you know, maybe I guess at high speeds, that's supposed to help with i guess air turbulence or something whatever you know it ain't making me no faster probably but i like the way it looks so i put it on there um of course the bike has the brox um adjustable kickstand on it um of course the gb racing cover on this side as well with the evo tech on this side um i just probably last week um after ordering my uh after ordering my dme swing arm i got that i ordered it back in may 
Um, I finally got it last week, so I guess it took about 10 weeks to get here. Um, it was well worth the wait. Um, I only got a zero to four because the stock swing arm on the BMW is pretty dog on long already. So the zero to four was nice. You know, I guess it's sitting out uh, probably about 63, 64 inches maybe. Um, but I got it pretty much all the way back. It can go back a little bit further. When I switch the gearing, probably some smaller sprockets, it probably slide back a little bit more. Um, it's just, I cannot find a 16 front tooth for the BMW right now. It's just hard to find. So um, I think right now I'm running 1744, um, which is good for a half mile. Um, I'm thinking about doing maybe 1641, um, which is about almost about 1743 1744 kind of in the middle um gonna run that once i can find a 16 front sprocket um like i said you know you got the full titanium acropovic exhaust as well with the carbon fiber tip as you can see it's you know it's done some bluing which is pretty nice looks pretty good you can see that nice green oil in there it's that modal v Got to put the good stuff in your vehicle if you want to be fast. Um, this vehicle, well, this bike has the the TST, um, the TST um, fender eliminator kit on it. I also have the other one. Um, I forgot the name of it. Um, that everybody else has. The previous owner had both, so he had both of them. He had the TST on. I think the TST is a little bit brighter, so I just went ahead and kept that on the bike because I felt like it was you know the best looking one in my opinion um you know that's pretty subjective everybody kind of has their own idea of what they think looks good um the bike is the bike has a stage two brin tuning ecu flash um i have uh i guess the 93 map you can run uh, 93 you can run mr12 on that map and then i also have an e85 map um so that's pretty nice. It might be like, I guess maybe like a 2.5 flash because I do have the Alpha Racing M airbox. Um, you can probably see a little bit of the gold gold tape under there. The wrap, the airbox is wrapped with gold, you know, the heat tape to keep it kind of, you know, heat reflective tape to keep the airbox kind of cool. But I do have the, the Alpha M race box on there it's a little bit bigger it's the race uh it's the air box that comes in the m1000 so you know more air supposedly supposed to make more power um also have the brin tuning um the brin tuning um velocity stocks for a k66 and that's the m1000 because of course i didn't get the velocity stacks for the k67 which is my bike because I have the upgraded air box in my bike. So of course, you know, I got the uh, stacks for the K66. Um, so I, I, that's why I said, I think I probably have a 2.5 Brentoon flash because I, you know, they had to update the, the flash for this air box. Um, of course the chain here, uh, this chain is a, a 520 ek 3d chain i really like these the links are really small i've had some other 520 chains but the the links aren't this small so i think this is the best looking one i love the gold i may try a black and gold one next time but the gold really sets it off i got a gold master link coming i had to use a friend uh friend's master link because i had to get ready for the event um as quick as possible thank you pj mr silent assassin you got me right Definitely uh, wanted to get to the event, so he let me use one of the master links he had. Um, trying to think what else is done to this bike. Um, I mean, it's basically just a regular Botone. I don't got no motor work or nothing like that. I would love to get some, maybe one day. Gotta save my pennies, you know. Racing some of these built motor bikes, you know. They still, they still mess you up when you ain't got no motor work. You can do as much as you want, but you know, big motor is where it's at. Oh yeah, this bike also has the, um, what is it called? Uh, the Brox ceramic bearings in it. So the wheel, you know, it spins pretty easily. 
um i need to get another floating floating rotor i had one but it was wearing out so i had to get another one i just put the stock one back on there i'll buy one of those later um so i got yeah the ceramic bearing so you know just make the bike roll a little bit easier um but yeah that's about it just a simple you know boat ons for a bike it's pretty fast i love the bike it's pretty uh it's pretty clean let's see let's go ahead and give it a cold start i know you guys are probably waiting for that i'm talking too much i have not started the bike today i just uh actually cleaned it me and my my daughter let's see got that much fuel in here move that off that off the screen so usually i'm i'm racing in race pro one with the traction control off um you would just come over here press the button here and you see how the traction control goes off since i have the swing arm on the vehicle uh, i mean it willies a little bit but they're a lot more controllable you know i was used to riding stock wheel bay so a bike wheeling doesn't really bother me so let's go ahead and start it up for you guys actually took i know y'all gonna be like laughing but i actually took all the e85 because i was running e85 last night and i had to dump take all the e85 out and put a little 93 back in it when i switched the map so let me get this thing started it's, only, it's really only a little bit of gas in this thing i just put enough in it to Put it back on the on the trailer, so it really ain't much in there. Jeez, that's, that's a cold start idle after you know taking all the E85 out of the bike. I'm trying to do a better job of not letting it sit in the vehicle for too long. I heard that's pretty bad, so doing a better job of taking that stuff out the bike and put 93 back in it. that off while I piss the neighbors off but I just want to do a little update on the bike um as you see you know I have some videos coming out shortly of the well just probably one of the NC meet um it was definitely good to actually have something here in North Carolina because we've been doing a lot of traveling you know going to Alabama we've been to Miami um Detroit so we've been to a lot of different YouTubers meet so it was nice to actually have one of our own down here in North Carolina, you know, Greensboro and Charlotte, um, coming together and doing something. Um, it was a basic success, man. It was, you'll see the videos of that after I post this one. So I just wanted to get the walk around video first because, you know, uh, all those races are, you know, with the arm on it. Whereas of course, anything before that, I was stock wheel base. So just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on carnage here. She running strong. I think last night I had this, uh, I think my first couple of runs, I switched the map to E85 and you know, this bike self tunes, you gotta, you gotta probably run it about four to six, you know, six uh, runs for the bike to actually uh, self tune itself. So I had a couple where the bike <laughs> was self tuning, you know, but it was, it did okay. Um, by the end of the night, I felt like it was running really well. So I'm definitely enjoying the bike. I'm happy to have it back from BMW because, uh, i post some clips of it but my my whole throttle actually went out on the bike they replaced this whole harness with uh the 2022 uh harness so it was at bmw for about two weeks because literally i could be in the middle of a race at full throttle and the bike would just cut off and i would have no revs it would just i would literally have to cut the bike off rolling pull the clutch in start it back up and then everything would cut back on 
but that was really pissing me off. So I'm, that was fixed on the warranty. So I'm happy that's done and, you know, working fine now. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on, you know, on the bike, quick little walk around. Um, good things to come with this bike. Probably got some more things coming, some more tricks up my sleeve, you know, probably can't reveal those. Um, but you know, we're going to get this thing a little bit faster. I guess, you know, a lot of guys, you know, would say it's a stock bike, even though it's got a lot of aftermarket parts on it. But you know, what we consider stock is when the motor has not been cracked open. So we'll see how long she stays like that. But like I said, just want to give you guys a quick little walk around. Um, hope you guys keep following the channel. Definitely going to have some more racing videos for you guys now that the bike is set up and actually fixed now, uh, working. So just stick with me and I'm going to get that content out to you guys, man. Just keep following Mr. Big Ego S1K. You can follow me on Instagram as well. Same name. Um, and show your support by hitting that subscribe button. All right, man, you guys have a good one.